can't have that. I can't wear that. I can't because I'm too short. I'm too this. I'm too that. I'm too... <sighs> this experience totally changed my outlook on clothes. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul for you guys. I actually got some clothes that I never would have thought I would ever buy very interesting pieces and you know what i'm getting older and i wanted to start embracing my body type and um i just it, it was a very different shopping experience for me this time around so if you guys are interested then just keep on watching but before we begin let me remind you that subscribing is 100 percent free so please click that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post i post every single week and since christmas time and fall time are my favorite times of year i have been uploading multiple times a week so trust me you don't want to miss out all right without further ado let's get started you know, I have never been into the loft before, ever. I always thought the loft had like really like, I guess like older clothing, you know, but um, I walked in there and I was pleasantly surprised. They actually had petite sizing, which is like mind blowing for me. I'm only 5'2 and all of my pants, all of my like everything is always too long and I just always thought that oh well this is how clothes are made and I never stopped to think that they have petite clothing out there and I mean this experience totally changed my outlook on clothes because up until then I was just feeling so just horrible and I did try on some stuff from Forever 21 and I don't know the I guess the um, changing rooms just very unflattering the lighting and oh, oh my gosh i was just feeling super just terrible and i just wanted to go home i was just not feeling at all good anyways all that to say that i tried on some clothes from the loft and my attitude changed like this so <laughs> um where do we start so i went directly to the petite section so the first thing i saw was like right on the mannequin and i had always wanted like a plaid not like a i don't know is this a mini skirt on me it's not really mini but um it's down almost to my knees but this skirt is i mean it's just like that traditional buffalo check plaid and I loved the colors of it, but I've always wanted this for a specific outfit that I've always had in mind, but I never had the courage to try it out myself. It's like, it's pr pretty much like Fran Fine, you know, the nanny. <laughs> um, she always had like this kind of skirt and like a nice little black um, turtleneck or mock neck top and thigh high boots. I mean, I love that look and I finally bit the bullet and this is actually in petite sizing which is crazy and that was like actually on a mannequin which I never see I always see like just regular size clothing on mannequins and so like naturally like when I see that I think okay that's how I'm supposed to look but I'm not I'm petite so it was just really encouraging to see that and I love this, this is like a very nice thick almost sweater material but it's not itchy at all thankfully I I don't I can't deal with itchy uncomfortable clothes so I was very particular about that but I really really loved this print the second item is this basic tank top it's this chiffon tank top and I have a black one like this that I got from Zara actually I never shop at Zara and um, I love that tank top and I always wished that I had the white version of it and I finally found it at the loft and this is again petite sizing and it is nice and flowy and it'll look good um, like with everything because it's just like such a basic but it's so flattering because of the uh, material I love chiffon material and it is it's just perfect it's perfection and I love v-necks the only thing that I wish was that you could adjust the straps I that would just make it absolutely perfect. This next item, I would never have tried this on if it wasn't for my husband. He saw this on the mannequin and he was like, can you please try that on for me? And I was like, I, what? This isn't like, I never would have ever seen myself wearing this. 
but I'm glad he made me try it on because uh, yeah, you'll you'll see, you'll see. So this is a dress. <laughs> this is a dress, okay, and it goes I think right by my knees, right above my knees, I think, and it has a square neck and these big poofy arms. <laughs> Never in my life would I have ever tried it on. I mean, I saw the color and I was like, that color's not gonna look good on me. I made every excuse in the book not to try it on. But my husband was like, please, please, just do me a favor, just try it on. And I'm so glad I did. Uh, this looks like a very fancy brunch outfit. I know it doesn't look very, like like much when I show you on like the hanger, but when I put it on, I mean, it. he was like, you look rich. And I was like, wow, wow. You know, fake it till you make it. <laughs> and it looks so much better on. Um, I might post a picture of it maybe with me if, if I get enough courage <laughs> on uh, either Instagram or maybe even this video, I don't know. But I absolutely love this. The sleeves, like I I don't know if I have broad shoulders. I, I, I don't know, I've been told I had broad shoulders and you know, you hear so many rules and stuff about broad shouldered girls should never wear puff sleeves and stuff like that. And so I was just like, there's no way this is gonna look good on me. And I tried it on and I felt, I felt pretty, you know? And that's really what it boils down to, you know? If you feel good in the clothing that you're about to buy or whatever, just go for it. Don't listen to all these rules. Oh my gosh, I was killing myself over all of these rules. I was like, oh no. I, I would literally walk through and be like, I can't have that. I can't wear that. I can't because I'm too short. I'm too this. I'm too that. I'm, too... <sighs> I'm just so glad my husband made me try this on because this uh, totally broke all those rules. And, you know, like the coloring, the coloring, it's not supposed to suit me, but it looked good on. The big puffy shoulders uh, or sleeves. It looked good on, so just just go out there and just try it on. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm just I'm really happy with this. This dress just like kind of opened my eyes, you know, and I was like, there's just much more out there. Don't just listen to all of the little fashion rules that some random people have put in place, you know, just, yeah, anyways. So that dress, every time I see that dress, I will be reminded of that. So um, after I tried that on, I kind of, was a little bit more open-minded <laughs> and um, just as we were about to check out I saw these shoes which I never ever like I, I remember seeing so many people like rave about these kind of shoes and I was like those look horrible uh no not not for me again just try it on these little loafer things loafer shoes I guess they're called I don't even know but oh my goodness, I love it. These are very comfortable also. These look so cool on, and I was just thinking like these with some jeans and maybe like a white, maybe my white chiffon top and like a nice little blazer or something. I would look really like put together and chic and I mean, that's just all I want. Just like something easy to wear and nothing too painful. Like this is not high heels, you know? But I felt like it maybe looked taller because of the pointed toes. And, you know, up until now, I was like, since I'm so short, I'm going to have to wear heels all the time. And I don't like to wear heels, but these looked amazing. They look really fancy, but um, I mean, these are essentially just like, they're the same as like ballet flats, you know? And just slip them on so that was all that i got from the loft and their clothing is pretty pricey but this was an outlet and also everything was like 60 percent off let me see this dress i think originally was like 80 bucks this blouse was 34.99 the skirt was 59.99 and the shoes were 54.99 okay so um after that like when we first went to the mall like we had already stopped by an express and i was already feeling like really just just really ugly and you know since nothing fit me or whatever you know all because of 20, uh, forever 21 i mean i'm not blaming the store but like you know those clothes are fit more for um you know teenagers whereas like i have a more of a womanly shape so um yeah i had gone to express already and then i was like no nothing fits me nothing looks good and so then after the loft we went back around the mall and we ended up in express again and he was like can we give it one more shot and i was like 
my husband. And uh, I was like, fine, fine. Because I was feeling just super happy after the loft. So I did get just a couple of items from Express. So like I said, I wanted to recreate Fran Fine's look. Um, I always loved that look. So uh, Express actually had a little mock neck sweater kind of thing. It's not really a sweater. It's a very, very thin, but it's very soft and I've never tried a mock neck before, but uh, mock neck or turtleneck. I'm not, I think it's a turtleneck actually. This looks so good on. My husband actually picked this out. He was like, can you try this on? And I was like, <sighs> my husband is very stylish. I've learned he's more stylish than I am. <sighs> Please don't tell him I said that. Anyways, this was just perfect. I just pictured this being tucked into that skirt with some thigh high boots and voila, you know, there's your outfit. And again, like I'm very picky about texture and I mean, I've had, I've had obviously softer clothing than this, but this is like skin tight material. So I'm not used to skin tight. I'm again, used to like really baggy clothing, but it was comfortable. And this is very thin, so I wasn't, expecting it to be warm, but this neck part, I, can, I guess it's because of the neck, it keeps you very warm. So uh, that was a pleasant surprise. This was, let's see, $39.95. And then the last item is a skirt, another skirt. <laughs> I'm just like really determined to recreate that, that look. Um, I found this skirt right here. This one, I guess is like a, a little bit shorter than the loft one but it is like this little tweed skirt and what I liked about it the most was there was a little bit of metallic sheen like a little bit of it I mean you can kind of see there's like little gold metallic thread woven throughout and it just catches the light ever so slightly and it looks super pretty especially something like this like I just picture like New Year's Eve in New York <laughs> with this and like the whole outfit that I had in mind you know and this had pockets, which is so crazy. I mean, if you're a girl, you know, pockets are everything. And they even have pockets on the back. And this, it has like a zip on the side, whereas the other one was just stretchy and you just pull it on. The zip kind of holds you in a little bit more, you know, so if you get your correct size, it'll like really kind of keep you sucked in a little bit. This was $56.95. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to add these last two items in this video. Uh, I literally got these items like maybe one or two days after I filmed this. So uh, I ended up getting denim shorts, which is very new for me. Um, I do have one other pair, but uh, this is definitely my first ever, like anything distressed, which I never ever ever thought I would ever get but there's something so summery and fun about these shorts and they fit so well they sucked me in exactly where I wanted to be and they were really comfortable and um, we've been going to the beach a lot lately so I thought these would be perfect and um, yeah I never ever thought I would ever be wearing anything even remotely close to this but uh, again I mean, just go for it. If you're ever doubting yourself, just go for it. I always thought, oh, I'm too old, I'm too short, I'm too big. Just go for it. I really, really love these. And they're very comfortable. And I know that we're headed into fall, but these were on sale the last time I went to Levi's, which was just like, I think, last week, two weeks ago. So uh, I would definitely check these out. And this is how I would style them. Uh, I would probably wear like a kimono or something just for a little bit more coverage so I'm a little bit more comfortable but yeah this is just a styling idea for you. This next item did not work for me. These are the famous Levi ribcage jeans. I saw them everywhere. Um, every website that I looked uh, it was always rated the number one jeans and I just I had to give it a go but this did not suit me and um, I kind of was upset about that because it seemed to be working out for everyone and their mothers but it just goes to show like not everything will suit your body type and even if other people say it is um good for your body type or whatever if you don't feel comfortable or pretty in it just forget it it's not worth it 
I did try desperately to make these work. I tried them with every single top I had in my closet, um, but they just did not look good. Um, I really wanted them to work mainly because these were the most comfortable jeans I've ever tried on. That's for sure, but it did not complement my body. I just feel like if you're already short or have short legs, uh, these just make your legs look even shorter and it kind of just created a square shape, which was not flattering. So comfort wise, I would give them a 10 out of 10. Style wise, I would probably give them like a three or a four. So because of that, I did return these, but I am still on the hunt for the perfect jeans. I'm just really excited about all these clothes kind of pushed myself out there a little bit and I'm just I'm really happy that my husband pushed me to try on these different outfits and that I found the loft like I would have never thought to even shop at the loft and I don't know I'm that was the first time I'd ever walked in and I'm, I'm glad I did so yeah I'm, I'm slowly trying to evolve my fashion sense you know trying to kind of make it a little bit more grown up. I still have clothes that are from uh, like my high school years. I actually still have t-shirts from elementary school that I still wear. So uh, I have a, a long ways to go, but I, I will keep you guys updated on this little journey, this little fashion journey that I have embarked on. <laughs> if you're in the same boat as me, just please just give some new things a shot. Uh, I'm, I would have never tried on that dress i would have never even walked in the loft but just i just was so tired of just shopping at the same places looking at the same stuff I, and i'm so glad i just decided to just go for it um and also to my husband for pushing me <laughs> because I, I literally would never have tried on that dress but um just just try something new you know you never know and if you're petite please find a shop that sells petite clothing it will just totally just change everything about fashion <laughs> for you. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys know of any other petite stores that I need to check out, please let me know. I am super excited finally about fashion again. So um, yes, I will definitely check those suggestions out. So just let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.